Hey friends, good morning, happy Thursday. I am home today. Well, I'm going to the gym as soon as I get done, but I was afraid I wouldn't make it in time with the road construction. So let me know when you get on. We are gonna do some Pilates with a ball. Put my glasses on so I can see who signs in. <clears throat> Good morning, Carrie. How are you, lady? I'll be dropping your stuff off later today. I have to run to the gym. I'm meeting someone that's buying retail and I'll drop off your stuff. So little Pilates with a ball. If you don't have a ball, you can use a pillow, a block. Um, I guess you can wrap up a, <laughs> a, a towel, fold a towel so it won't come apart. Hey Adele again, good morning. Hello, hello. So we're gonna start, um, we're gonna start upright. So I am gonna come live on the Fit page um, a little later today to kind of run through some stuff, logistics about opening. So just look for that. I, mo I might post it, I'm gonna try to do it like around seven, not too late. Um, Cause I know there's lots of questions. Hey Melanie, good morning. So we're gonna just get started. We are gonna keep the Let's Hydrate Veg Out group going through July with a little twist. And um, I'm gonna start on Monday a squat lunge push-up plank challenge. So it's, it's either gonna be push-up or planks, not both. But it's definitely squat lunge and then one of the two. And we'll kind of alternate back and forth. Similar to what we did last time, a couple months ago, um, where I change it every day. So, but that's coming and then we'll start it on July 6th when we reopen. And as of right now, our recording classes are gonna be at 10 o'clock. So I'll be live, I'll be doing classes 9, 10, and 11 most days, but I'm gonna do the live at 10. So if you don't like 10 o'clock, you can always catch the replay later, but that, that's gonna be what's happening at least for July. We'll see how it goes. Um, give me feedback once we get into the, the swing of things. And um, there are some of my instructors that will be still Zooming it. So just kind of pay attention to website and here, and I'll be posting. So let's just start upright, keeping your ball somewhere by your feet. All right, so let's come into heels together, toes turn out in that Pilates stance. Zipping tall through the center, send the arms to the sky. You know, I'm gonna turn another light on. Didn't mind it for yoga, but I feel like it's dark in here. Rise it up. Now I want you to think about zipping through the leg. So like, like a zipper, you're pulling up, your tail's tucked, you're zipping up. What happens? Your ribs pop up, don't let them pop up, keep them down. So you're zipping, ribs down, arms up. Shoulders, bring them to the ears. Let them come down. Now no shoulders here, so zipping up, ribs stay down. Arms come up, shoulders stay down. Let it go. One more, nice and tight. Zip up, big breath, shoulders down, ribs down, reach, reach, reach to the sky, lower down. Now let's come up on our tippy toes. See if you can keep your heels together. Zip up, same move, arms up, shoulders down, ribs down, let it go. Two more, rise it up. Exhale, lower, one more up. Exhale, lower, sink. Bend the knees. From here, I want to take your right leg out to the corner. We're going to lift the arms up. We're just going to do a lift and lower. Palms can be up or down like fingers. Tuck the floor. So lift, lower, lift, lower. Belly's tight. Come on. Let's do four, three. You're on that 45 degree angle. Two, one. Relax it. Relax the arms. We're going to lift that leg out and circle, but I want to stay open. Arms up, shoulders are down, belly's tight, and your ribs are down. Let's lift that leg. Circle. You can hold on to a wall if you have one close to you. Let's go the other way. Press, press, press. Four, three, two, bring it in. I hope you're feeling some of that love in your inner thighs. Same thing, other side. So lift, left leg, I'm sticking to the floor. Lift my mat. Left leg out on that angle. Arms up, shoulders down. Right knee is just softly bent. So we're gonna lift and lower. Lift. 
lift nice and high. Squeeze that navel in every time. Up, up. Let's do four, three, two, one. Relax for a moment. Let those arms go. Circle, same thing. Tails under. Right knees bent, arms out. Let's set it up. Lift, circle. Move from the hip. Think about lengthening through your pretty toes. Change direction. So it's the 4th of July weekend. I know we usually do a big party. We're not doing that this year. It's going to be quiet. Just Jason and I. We don't even have kids. Bring it in. Shake it on out. Let me know if you have any cool ideas you can do at home to change things up. It's not so darn boring. Type in the comments because I don't know what we're going to do. Look at each other. <laughs> Maybe do a bonfire. I don't know. But it's just us. It's so boring. So settle in. Tuck under. Lift tall. Right leg's going to go out and in. Okay, so I want you to stay lifted. Arms out again. Palms come up this time. So I want you to lift that leg. Foot to the knee. Kick it out. Bring it in. Kick it out. Squeeze. Can we add the arms up, down, up like you're clapping your hands? Bring it up, down, up. I mean, I've been ha I've had parties for the four the last I don't know four or five years, about forty people or more. Let's do four. So much fun. Three, but not this year. Two, one more. Let it go. Again, I hope you feel it right there. Let's do it on the other side. Shoulders are back. Soft knees, tails under, and your knees are kind of going out to that side. So we're going to get left leg, bring it up, foot to the knee, and just get comfortable here, out and in. When you're ready, add the arms up, come down, up. Imagine you had a band and you're pulling out, in, out, and two more, out, and up. Let it go. Let's get our ball. Okay, so we're going to start with our ball between our knees. So bring them in, work it into those inner thighs. So just bend your knees, get kind of comfortable here, let the shoulders go. Tail's gonna tuck under, almost, it's really hard to describe, I mean I always say it, you know when you come into a squat, what happens, your butt goes back. I want you to take that tail and literally tuck it like you're doing a C curve, like if you were doing a roll down, but without rounding. So this is the cat stretch, right, we round, I want your chest to stay lifted. Just take that tail, tuck it under. So you're under, you're gonna squeeze that ball. Squeeze, squeeze. Hands are just by your sides for now. Press, press, arms come up. Bend the elbows. So imagine you've got a band between your hands. We're gonna pull as you squeeze, return. Pull as you squeeze. Now squeeze your shoulders. You're squeezing that ball. Pull back, pull back. Good, let's do four, and you're squeezing every time. In and out, and squeeze. Three, two, one. Arms out, now let's come on, tippy toes. Squeeze, I want you to squeeze. Now press your hands together like you're pushing, like you're pressing a, a ball between your hands. Press, press, press. Four more, three, two, one. Hold, heels down, hands to the legs. Now take that nice cat stretch, drop your chin. Maybe rub your legs out, check out your feet, make sure they're squared off. Lift that head up, take your tail, lift your torso up, take that tail tuck under again. I want you to lean left. We're gonna lift our right leg up. We're gonna take it out in front, flexing your foot. Now push down into that ball, press, press, press. Arms are just out for balance. You can keep them down. I touched. Keep going, four, three, two, hold. Now from here, bend that right leg, put your foot to the floor, pull in so your back leg's gonna hold that ball, you have your foot up. I want you to bend and straighten your standing leg. Uh-huh, down, up, down, up. Let's do four, three, two, one. Back foot comes back to the mat, come back, return. Same thing, other side. So you're working the front and the back of the leg. Okay, so soft knees, tuck, chest is lifted. We're gonna lean, left leg's gonna come up and out in front. Find your balance. Flex your point of your toes. Doesn't really make a difference, but pull in, pull in. Imagine you had a Pilates ring and you were pressing, pressing in. So this is a very different move because normally we're lifting up. So when you have that ball between your legs, you can squeeze, which works those muscles a little differently. Four more. Three, two, hold, flex that foot, lean into it. 
to it. Put all your body weight there, lift your back foot. There it is, bend and straighten. Oh, I lost it, bend and straighten. Come right back. Down, up, down, let those arms go if you can. Four, three, two, one. Back foot down, return. Similar move. We're gonna keep the ball where it is. Knees are soft, let me go back. Okay, we're gonna lean left. Okay, right leg, I want you to bend your knee. Arms are up, I want you to squeeze that leg in. And we do this on the floor quite often, on our side. Let your arms relax, press, 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 and hold. Now I want you to take your arms down, lean forward as if you're gonna reach and pick something up. Ah, touched. Come right back, arms up. Take them in. Hinge down like you're picking something up. Inhale up. Bring it in. Feel that left leg, two more, lift. Open it up, bring it in, lower. One more, up, oh, I touched again. How are you doing with this balance? Relax, ha! Same thing other side, then we'll change it up and do some core. Okay, because my legs are feeling it. Arms up, left foot up, lean right, and I want you to press into that left leg. Now if you want, bring your arms in and press, press, like you're pressing against that ball in your hands too. Knees are bent, chest is lifted. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze and hold. Arms out. Keep the leg where it is. I want you to hinge down. Bring it up. Let's change it a little. Take the arms out. Come down. Bring it up. Stand tall. Bring it forward like you're squeezing. Lower down. Use your belly. Bring it up. A couple more. Bring it in. Lower it down. Come up to the knee. Lift. Let's do two more. Bring it in. Lower. Lift. Right leg's working hard. In. Lower. Left foot down. Let's grab our ball. Ha! All right, from here, let's do a little twist. Heels are together, soft knees. We're gonna rotate right leg across and swing back. Now try to keep your hips and shoulders square. We are gonna move our ball in a moment, cross. Just get that freedom into the hip. Don't think about it too much, just swing it out. Two more, one more. Now bring it forward, touch. Take your ball to the right side, look over your shoulder, lift and twist. Swing the leg back, go the other way. Now the left leg is bent, I want you to rotate. Rotate, yes, you got this. Pull it over, over. Can we do two more? Sure we can. Ah. Okay, stand it up, shake it out. We're gonna do the other side, then we'll come back to that one. We we'll change a little. Okay, so soft knees, you got your ball, left leg. Take it out, just bring it across and swing. Try not to rotate the body. I want you to stay neutral, I want you to stay squared off. Cross and cross, cross, cross. Oh yes. Ready, add the arms, add your torso, twist. Hold the hip, hold the hip. Look over that shoulder, pull and pull. Let's do four, keep going. Three, oh yes, balance challenge. Two, one more. Back to center, shake it out. One more time, only now arms are going overhead. So I want you to think about lifting super long, staying long and strong in that spine, but rotating. So right leg's gonna go across, arms up, shoulders are down away from your ears. And we're gonna rotate right. Legs gonna come forward and twist back and rotate left. Touch down every time. Rotate. Like a corkscrew, twist. And twist. Twist. One more. Ah, bring it home, shake it out. Not easy. <laughs> Same thing, other side. Left leg's going across. How you doing with this balance? This is it, we're gonna change it up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna twist left, bring that leg around, twist right, twist left. Think about lengthening. Staying into that right leg, but staying long in the spine, stretch it out. Look over that shoulder, two more, cross. And cross, one more time. 
press. And press, bring it home. Shake it out, grab a quick drink. Quick drink, we're gonna change it a little. It's gonna be super duper hot today, so make sure if you go out, you have your water with you. All right, ball in hand. Let's think about that waistline again. So we're gonna start with our legs wide. Toes turn out and you're sinking down into your tail. So you're lifted tall, arms are coming up. So if we had a Pilates ring, we'd be kind of pulling with the opposite, like the side that we're going. So we have a ball or something that you're not pulling. So sink into your seat. Don't move your torso or don't move from the waist down. You're gonna bring it over and come up. Squeeze that side. Over, you're just holding the ball right now. Over and lift, stay low. Over and lift. Let's do four, three, two, one more. Lift, release. Same thing, other side. So sink, set it up, tails under. Let's go over and lift. Over and lift. Squeeze. Come on, over. Lift, four more. Four, three, two, one more. And lift, straighten the leg. This one's just a stretch. We're gonna bend the knees and take the arms up. I want you to round it. Drop in front. Go all the way around. This is one of my favorite back stretches. It's just yummy in your spine. Bend, roll it. One more, just three, because I don't want you to get all dizzy on me. Let's go the other way. Now you can straighten the legs if it feels good. But it's more about your spine, your back. So round it. I actually think you get a better stretch if your legs are bent. One more. Beautiful, bring it in. Huh. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna come down. So let's take our ball to our legs. We're gonna come down and then we'll probably move my camera. Um, we're just gonna do a couple forearm planks. I know we're not, we're not doing the challenge right now, so you gotta get a little bit of core work in that way on your plank. So rise the arms up. Now legs are strong, you're squeezing that ball. Can we reach? Can we reach? I want you to think right now about the separation from your ribs to the hips. Reach, reach, two more, reach. And reach, one more time. Back to center, hands to the legs. Lock it down. Come all the way out into your plank. Take your knees to the floor. So we're gonna come down into forearms. Lower that a little. Hopefully you can even hear my music. So once I'm at the gym, it should be much better acoustics. Let the arms come out. So you're in that forearm position. I'm gonna turn sideways. You've got the ball or your prop between your legs, send one leg out and then the other. So you're in that nice low plank. Squeezing your ball, drop the knees down. Your ball or your block should touch the floor. Down, bring it up. Four, three, two, one, hold. We're gonna take it side to side. Right hip to the floor, left hip to the floor. Right and left. You can touch or just get close. Over, over, two more. Over, over. I think we did an extra one. <laughs> Let the knees come down, lift and like this. All right, I'm gonna sink back into a child pose. You can do that with my camera. So you can see me. So from here, you can get that little stretch if you want. Let's see if we can get it set up. Too high or not. All right. So we're on our in our child pose. When you're ready, I lost my ball. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Bring it around. Let's have a seat. We're gonna go into our roll down. All right. So I have to say, you've seen my, this is my downstairs living area. You've seen me in my kitchen, in my bathroom. I feel like I know y'all, like you've been house guests. 
<laughs> which is a good thing. You've even been on my patio a couple times. Um, I think out in the backyard once. So pretty soon you'll be able to see my other home away from home, the gym. So knees are together. So we're gonna do a roll down nice and slow. Feet are flat, lift tall. And really like think about tucking that tail one vertebrae at a time, squeeze your knees. Roxy has not been downstairs in a while. Take your time, come down. Arms come up and over. Pull that belly in. Now anchor, right? Rest here for a moment. Feel the openness of your lower back. You should have that little space there. Now pull the navel in, arms rise. Lift your head, peel yourself up. Lift. Two more like that. And then we're gonna add the arms overhead. So shoulders are down, broad, squeeze your knees, press your feet to the floor. Low back, middle back, shoulders, head, arms overhead. Soften the air. Try to keep those feet anchored to the floor. Sink the navel to the spine, right to that mat. Arms come up, looking through your fingers, lift that head, muscle it up. <sighs> Exhaling helps. One more, just like that. Use your hands if you need it, it's totally okay. It is a lot harder than it looks, especially if you're fatigued. Take that breather, pull in, sink the navel to the spine, and lift. Let's do two, arms overhead. Arms up, not up to your ears, sink them down. Squeeze, tuck, come on nice and slow. Touch down, take that breather, pull the navel in, arms come up right by your ears, oh yes, lift. Let's do it again, tag it under, take your time. I feel it too. I know you all think I do this and that makes it, it's easy. It's not easy, you saw me doing those push-ups and stuff. It's not all easy, that's the challenge. I know some of you said, well I couldn't do it. That's the idea. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be a challenge. Otherwise, you know, we can just do, I don't want to say gentle yoga, but we could do a gentle stretch all day. If you don't challenge yourself, you don't get any stronger. You don't grow. Flex your feet. And then when you do accomplish, like, whatever it was that you were struggling with, maybe you got one full push-up in, or you were able to hold a minute plank. Like, whatever it is. Like, don't you feel awesome when you do that? You should. From here, let's do our roll downs and we're going into our 100. Arms out. Now I want you to squeeze that ball, flex your feet, tuck it under. Take your time, low back, middle back. Literally feel each vertebrae touch. Point your toes, arch your back. Then flex your feet, sink the navel to the spine, arms up, lift your head, reach past your toes. So we're reaching past the toes, dive the head through the arms. Push through those heels and lift back up. Two more, we're just like that, your pace. Nice strong breath, exhaling on the lift, pushing through those heels, diving it through. One more time, please. Big exhale. Exhaling will help you get up there and relax, shake it out. So we're gonna go into our 100. We're gonna put our ball between our shins. Legs are coming up into a 90 and we're gonna pulse the arms. We're gonna start there, then go long. You choose where you need to be, okay? So feet are grounded, let's tuck it under. Let the hands come down. Lift your feet up. So I want you to come into a 90 degree. Hands can go right on the thighs. Your knees are directly over your hips. Head is down. So sometimes I lift my head just to make sure you can still see me. <laughs> but I don't want you to lift. Okay, so arms are relaxed and your legs are gonna stay right here for now. Lift the head. Now your shoulders are off that mat and we're gonna pulse. Pulse, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, squeeze that ball. In, point your toes, three, four, exhale. Like you're blowing out some candles. Three, four, exhale, two, three. Keep squeezing. In, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Two more. In, two, three, four, exhale. One more time. In, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, 
four, bring the legs in, relax that head, little rock. So we're gonna do that one more time. You can stay where you were. You can do the exact same thing, or you're gonna kick the legs out and in, in on the in breath, out on the exhale, not past that 90 degrees. So lift your feet, you should be able to see your toes. Legs are in that 90 or a little further away. Arms long, lift that head. Belly's nice and tight. You should have no space when you're back in the mat. Here it goes. Inhale, two, three, four. Go long, two, three, four. Pull in, two, three. Shoulders off that mat, out, two, three. Keep going, in, two, three, four. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Look at that, in, two, three, four. Exhale, let's do two more. So in, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last time, in. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Bring it in. Relax that head. Little rock. Let's keep our ball where it is. Legs come up. Airplane the arms. Okay, so we're going to take the legs side to side. It's a gentle twist, but I don't. We're still working. Your shoulders are not going to come off the mat. So take the legs to one side, any side. Shoulders stay grounded. Bring it right back up. Take your time. Feel the work in your belly. Lower down. Go as far as you can go. As far as you can go without lifting your shoulders. And up. Take it over. And up. One more time each side. Enjoy the twist. You can roll that head opposite if you like. Right back center. Pull the knees in towards your chest. Let that tail rock. So we're gonna go into our double leg stretch. Let's push our ball a little further down to your ankle. So now lift your head up. Your knees are in close. We're gonna take the legs out and arms out in opposite direction. It's not about how low you go, it's how flat and long you can stay. So pull that belly in, send the arms directly over your head by your ears, legs go out, hold. See where you can go, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Wrap it around, inhale, exhale, lengthen. Wrap it around, inhale, exhale, lengthen, hold it there, reach, reach, reach to your toes, inhale, exhale, lengthen, one more, in, exhale, lengthen, can you hold? Now arms are out, shoulders are back, let's bend at the ears, elbows at the ears, we're going to lift those legs, about 45, I want you to bend your knees, touch down, head and chest is up, touch down, bring it up, squeeze your ball down bring it up now if you can't go all the way to the floor that's okay do what you can chest is lifted so it's down bring it up squeeze down bring it up squeeze for four three two one more feet down arms down let your head relax nice work Take a little breather. You should have definitely felt that. Let's kick our legs to the sky. This time I want you to turn your toes out. So that ball is still kind of at the nook of your ankles. Let me go a little more sideways. So we're gonna start with a little tail lift. This is my prep for whenever we do plow and yoga. It's just a little lift, teeny tiny move. You're gonna lift, relax, lift. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed to the mat. Toes are going straight to the sky. Teeny rock. Up. Now, if you want, push in your hands. Lift a little higher. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees. Take your feet to the floor. One more like this. So this time, we're going to bend the knees. You've got your ball kind of between those ankles. So we're going to kick the legs out and bring them in. Oh, let's change it. Let's put it to our feet. That might be a little better. We're gonna go out, bring it in. Frog legs. So you're gonna go out, knees are out to the sides. So it's out, bring it in, belly's tight. Pressing your feet against that ball, out. And in, two more, out. And in, last time, we're gonna change it, out. And in, feet down. Let's take our feet to the ball. I've never really seen these balls pop. I'm not sure what you're using at home. A block would work. So we're gonna do one leg off the ball lifting. So we're gonna work into that hamstring and glute. So right foot, actually I'll do left side first. You're literally just gonna take that foot, let it dangle now, lift yourself up so you're on your ball. That's it, just hang out. 
Can we lift that right leg? Can we roll the ankle? Are you feeling your hamstring? Go the other way. Foot down to the floor. Relax, let's switch. Walk that ball over. Right foot down, lift it, lift, hold. Right leg up, roll that ankle. Uh-huh, you gotta let me know if you feel this stuff. Gently come down, lower the foot, lower the tail. Both feet on your balls. Knees start with them glued together like you're squeezing. Belly's in, you're just gonna lift. Squeeze your knees, squeeze your tush. Can you lift and drop it down? Lift, drop it down. Let's do four here. Three, two, one more. Relax it down. Take a breather. Left foot's gonna come off the floor. We're just doing four and four, little bridge lifts, okay? So I know it's intense. Right foot on the ball. We're gonna lift that left foot, lift your hips. Hips stay up, drop it down. Actually, foot stays up, drop it down. Lift, that's two, three, four. Foot down, take your tail down, switch the legs. Try to stay neutral, so move the ball rather than you know moving your foot inward so you don't feel anything in your knees. Definitely hamstring and glutes. So left foot's anchored on your ball. Right foot comes up, let's lift. So you're in that nice bridge position. Here it goes, down, bring it up, down. Just two more. You feel these? Foot down, tush down, grab your ball, bring it in, take hold of it, take it to your knees, a little rock. We're gonna rock upright to seated, do a little twist here, and then we'll roll over to our sides. So from here, we're gonna roll up like a ball. Try to keep your feet off the floor. So take those legs in, Roll it up, ah, swing it around. I'm gonna still say sideways. So let's start here. Uh, actually, let's go wide. Let's go wide. So your ball can stay in front. Lots of energy through the hips and your feet. So we're gonna just start with our hands at our shoulders facing down. Elbows are lifted in nice and long. You're anchored through the spine. Let's rotate, look that. Rotate, look that. Rotate, twisting from that waist. Can you go a hair further? Now let's reach out, bring it home. Reach out, bring it home. Two more, reach and reach one more time. Back to center, relax, shake those legs. We're gonna take our right leg in, left leg's gonna go back into our mermaid position. Grab hold of that left leg, right arm's gonna come up and over. Lean in, try to get that nice openness on your side. Right hand's gonna come down to the mat. Now let's roll into our knees, hips come forward, left arm come up and over, stretch. Take that arm in front of your body, sweep it down. So we're gonna do that again, we're gonna take our left leg long and I'll have you lift here. Okay, so left leg's out. You're gonna take that arm up, roll into your hips. Now if you don't wanna lift that leg, you don't have to, otherwise lean into it and lift. I know you can't really see me, but that's okay. Leg is lifted. Can you drop and lift? Drop and lift. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Hands in front. Take the foot down. Bring it all the way around and right back to that mermaid. Let's swing it around left. Let's see if I can position. Okay, so the first one, that's all we're doing is stretching up. Ah, uh, looking up. Doesn't that feel good on that left side? Bring it up. Left hand down, roll forward onto your knees. Take the arms forward. So you can do this next one right here. You don't have to kick that leg long if you don't want. Sweep the arm in front, drop it down. Right leg go long. I think you'll be able to see me on this one. So from here, you're gonna push those hips forward. You're gonna lean, right arm over. Left hand is strong, lift your right leg. Now if you want, down and up. Again, you don't have to. You can stay right there up. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Arm goes in front, foot comes down and right back. Nice. Let's take it to our left side. Grab a quick drink if you need. Quick drink. Let me see what time it is. Oh, we're good. Quick sip. So we're going to do a little side work. And then we'll go to our bellies. And we'll start on our left side, assuming we're here. 
So let's take our ball to our ankles. So we're gonna send the legs straight out, ball to the ankles, and I want you to start kind of rolling the hips forward. So you're on your hip, your elbows directly under your shoulder, and you're lifted, you're not doing one of these. We will come all the way down, but for right now, I want you to be long. We're gonna work into that, that waistline. Right hand down, so you're gonna squeeze your ball, and we lift, that's it, lift. I think we did this in our core challenge, right? Can we take the arm up, lift, and lift. Squeeze, 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 press, and press. Let's do four more, four, and three, two, and one, relax it. Right hand down, take it down. So top leg, I want you to press, press. So you're pressing into that ball. You should be feeling a little bit of work. We're gonna do those lifts one more time. Press, press, press. Four, three, two, hold. Right arm up if you can. Let's go, lift, let's do eight of them. Eight, come on, seven. Can you reach for that leg? Six, and five. Squeeze, four, three, two, and one, relax down, bend the knees. Now let's come all the way down. So you're gonna rest your head on your bicep. Right hand can be there for support. You still have your ball between your ankles. I want you to lift that top knee. We're gonna lift, we're gonna lift. That top hand is, is down for support. So lift and lower, lift. Squeeze that same side, up and up. Four more, four, squeeze, three. Two, one, relax it. I certainly hope you felt here and through the hips. Okay, we're gonna lift and kick the legs out, in and down. Again, tap hand is for, is for support. You can knuckle it. Sometimes that's what I do because it starts bothering my hands, so you choose. Lift your knees, you're in alignment. So you're gonna lift, kick it out, in, down, up. Kick it out, in, down, press up, squeeze, in. Down, you feeling these? I hope. Good, good, good. So that's the beauty of Zoom. I, we can talk. I don't know if it's just me feeling it or if you're just watching me, making fun of me. Come on, relax it. Take the ball. Keep it where it is. Roll to your bellies. Okay, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. I'm at. Let your legs go. Take your elbows in. Lengthen through the spine. So you're lifting up. Feel that nice ab stretch. Now let's come down onto your arms. So you can stack your hands, bring your forehead to it. You've got your ball in between your ankles. I want you to bring it in. Go long, bring it in. Squeezing the knees towards one another, pulling that ball in towards your tush. In, again, working the back side of the legs. In, in, four more. Keep going, four, three, two, and one, relax it. From here, can we lift the legs? Just lift, lift, lift. Little pulses, press, press, press. Four, three, two, and relax it down. Let's take the elbows in close, push into your palms, push back, take that child pose break. And if you want, you can walk side to side because we're gonna go right into the other side. All right, so when you're ready, I'm wiggling it over. So we're gonna start with legs long, up on that elbow, and you have your, I gotta move, water. Ball is between your ankles, right? And you're stacked. So that elbow's directly under your shoulder, you're not resting and sinking, you're lifting tall. So the first few, remember, we're lifting up. Top hand can be on the floor, you're on that hip. If you want, take the arm up, squeeze. Start to squeeze into that left side. Lift and lift. Squeeze it up, right there. Eight, seven, come on, working hard. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, bend the knees. From here, take a little breather. We're gonna lift up, knees bend up. Hands come up if you can. If you can take it to your ear, I like it up. Squeeze, squeeze.
squeeze. Come on, work that waistline. Remember, I want comments of some fun things to do on the 4th of July when you can't really go places or you don't want to go places. Four more. Three, two, and one. Oh, okay, kick that leg, the legs out again. Find your ball. One more time and we come down. Last week we got crabs from that uh, karma, the, the trailer by Dunkin' Donuts. They were delicious. And I'm not a big crab eater. I like their shrimp more. Ready? Let's go. Left, arms up. So that was our treat last week, but I guess we could do it again. Left. It's not a, not a cheap dinner. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go. Four. Come on. Three, two, and one. Relax it. Okay, this time we're going to lift and send those legs long. I don't remember if we did it here or not. I'm talking. We're going to lift. I think we just did these up. I think we kicked them out when we came down. So lift, lower, lift, squeeze. Let's do eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. All right, let's come all the way down, resting that head on the arm. This is where we're gonna lift up, kick the leg straight out, bend and touch down. Remember that top hand, we got two sets. So knee is up, you're gonna squeeze that ball, get into position, you're on the hip, you're gonna lift, kick it out, in, down, up, kick, in, down, yes, up, kick, in, down, you feeling it? You'll have to type in the comments later, lift. Count on four more, up, kick, in, down, three, pull that navel in, nice and controlled, two, one more. Take a breather. Ha! Ah, we've got one more set. And then we go to our bellies and we change it up. We'll settle it and stretch it out. So top hand, you ready? Lift that knee. You've got that nice zigzag position. Let's lift, kick it out, in, down, up, kick it. Yes, give me some heart, some love, especially if you watch the replay. Let me know you're here. Up, kick it, in. Down four more, uh, kick it out. And three, come on, almost there. Two, one more. Oh yes, we're all to your bellies. Legs still keep that ball there. Stretch it out, so elbows are under your shoulders, just lengthen, you can look out and drop the chin. Let the head be heavy, roll from side to side. Good work, come back in. Let's come all the way down, resting. We're gonna do those heels in towards your tush one more time. So you can bring your forehead down, turn your side of the face, I'm gonna stay up so you can hear me. Legs together, so squeeze that ball, pull in and lengthen long, in and lengthen long. Now think about your belly for a moment. You're drawing it up, up towards the spine as you pull the heel in. Squeeze four, three, two, and one, relax the legs. We're gonna lift both legs. I want you a little lift, little lift. Legs are straight and strong. Lift, lift, lift. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it, relax down, nice work. So we're gonna grab our ball. So bring it in, reach around, get it. Oop. If you lose it like I did, get it. <laughs> get your ball, we're bringing it out front. This ball has a mind of its own today. So, we're gonna put it in front and just do a little back extension just to stretch those muscles, strengthen them a little bit. So you're gonna hold on to your ball, your block, your prop, whatever it is. Come all the way out. So we're gonna start with our legs to the floor, tight together, just let them relax, maybe even shake them out. So feel that heaviness of your legs because we're gonna lift the upper body, think about your belly. Pull that navel to the spine like you've got a magnet at your navel. Pull it in, pull it in, and then take a breath. Left, hold, squeeze your ball. Face to the floor. Hold. Relax it down. Soften. We got two more to do, just like that. Legs down, pull that navel up like you've got a magnet drawing it to the sky. Take a breath, lift, hold. Can you lift a little higher? 
I lock it down. One more time, nice and strong. Pull that navel in, squeeze the muscles in that center and lift. Hold, reach, stretch that ball out a little further. A little higher, bring it in, take it down. Push back child pose. So if you want, you can use your ball and lean. Take your ball on one side, hip off your heel. And you're gonna switch. So wherever you are right now, leaning and stretching. Beautiful. All right, let's swing it around, stretch it out. Let's sit easy seated. Let's take our ball out in front. I'll turn sideways a little bit. So we're gonna do a seated cat and cat and kind of stretch those shoulders. So shoulders, we, we can't tend to keep them up to our ears, especially, you, you know, we're on the phone a lot in the car driving. So really think about lifting through that center, that belly's pulled in, working that core, but arms are parallel. You're just gonna hold on to your ball. Drop the chin, tuck the tail under, hold. Pull that navel in. Take a breath, lift tall. That's it. Try not to over arch, just stay nice and tall. As if you're up against a wall, flat against a wall, tuck the tail, pull that navel in. You should feel in your lower back, lift tall. One more like that, nice and easy. Tuck under, chin towards your chest, tuck and hold. And lift, now take the arms up. Now take them back, back away from your ears, yeah. Back to center, we're gonna rotate to the right side, look over that shoulder. Center, rotate left. And center, take the ball down. Actually, you can put that ball aside. Let's kick the legs out. Flex your feet. Lifting tall, arms out front, hinge. Again, reach past your toes, looking to them, then drop the chin toward your chest. Reach, reach, reach. Soften your feet, reach a little further. Point your toes and lift. Hands down. So I want you to imagine you're up against a wall right now, flexing the feet to start. We're gonna drop, chin towards your chest. You're gonna peel your shoulders off that wall. Middle back, lower back, middle back, lower back, all the way down. When you can't go any further, feel that stretch. Now point your toes, flex your feet. Navel to the spine, slowly pull that low back to the wall, middle back to the wall, shoulders, Lastly, head, did you feel that? One more time, lift tall, like you've got a string all the way up through the spine, you're up against that wall. I actually could probably do it, but then I have to move my camera again. So you're gonna drop the chin, pull away, upper back. Lower back is anchored to that wall, middle back. Like your rib cage is pulling back, belly's in. Go as low as you can, now point your toes. Flex your feet, slowly draw navel in, press that lower back into the wall, middle back, lower back, or upper back, all the way up. Oh yeah, now let's take toes out to the sides. So we're gonna out and in, out and in. Whatever foot is on top, let's switch. Out, in, out, in. One more time, you should've done the standing. Curl those toes, give a little look, wiggle. Let's transition to all fours, tabletop. Hands wide. So I wanna do one more stretch through our shoulder and it's thread the needle, it's a yoga pose. We're gonna take that right arm up to the sky. Reach, 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 sweep it through. Let your shoulder come down, let your face come down and pause here. Lean the hips, rock it side to side. Feel that beautiful stretch. Draw that hip towards the right side. Feel it in your shoulder, your back. And then go left. One more time, leaning right. Back to center. Pushing through the left palm. Let's make our way back to center. A little tail wag. We're gonna do it on the other side. I'll turn a little bit. Left arm's gonna come up, reach. Sweep through. Let your shoulder come down. Let that face come down. Your butt's in the air, rest here. Lean, take your tail side to side, feeling that beautiful stretch through the shoulder. Now lean left and hold. Feel the breath in your shoulders. 
Come back to that neutral place. One more time, lean left. Back to center. Pressing through your palm, let's lift it up. Nice work. Let's come into all up on our knees. So honor your knees. If this doesn't work for you, stay, you know, you can, we'll stand. Um, but if you can, take that right leg out. Last stretch, up and over. Let that right arm pull down, reach. Feeling the openness on that left side. Now let's take our right hand, wrap around the leg. I want you to take that left hand, reach towards your toes, bring it all the way in the front and up. Like we did standing, over, drop it down and lift. One more time, over, drop down and lift. Right leg's coming in, left leg's going long, left hand's coming down. It can rest on the leg to start, right arm up, teeter totter. So just like the other side, feel that openness, shoulders back, let that left hand grip. So you got a little, little like a stability. You're binding, we're gonna drop the right arm right in front of your face, bring it up. Big breath, reach, 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 drop it down. One more, please. And bring it up, ah, lift tall, bring that left leg in. So from here, we're gonna make our way up. So if you want, you can take hands to the floor, turn your toes, lift it into a down dog. Let's crisscross right leg over left. Pushing the heel to the floor. Bending the knee a little. See if you can get your foot to stay flat, but just bend that knee. And then straight and release, right foot down, left knee is gonna wrap around, foot around that ankle. Pushing the heel to the floor and then bend. So I'm just wrapped, I'm bending, straightening, bend and straighten release walk the hands in to meet your feet hang out here give yourself a little shake out and then walk it all the way up standing tall shake it on out right leg in front crisscross the legs send the arms up reach grab your right forearm and pull for that nice arc gazing to the sky let that left hand drop look down towards the floor bring it all the way up we're going to take right leg behind Grab your left forearm, not your wrist, but pull gently. You can gaze up. Let that right arm drop, look down. And then engage, lift tall. Interlace your fingers, uncross. Take your palms to the sky, pull back, open up that chest, that heart. Ah, release, gully post arms. Bring them in, give yourself a little hug. I love to finish this way so you can say, thank you, body. Thank you, body, whatever arm's on top, do it one more time. Thank you, body. All right, my friends, let me see if anyone left me notes. I hope you had a good workout. I will be back tomorrow, 10 and 11. Thank you for joining Courtney, Sherry, Cindy. Great seeing you all. Tina, who else? Tony, awesome. Who else? Amanda, Adele, Carrie and girls. Thank you so much. I hope everyone stays well. Let me know some fun stuff to do while you're home for a 4th of July. I don't even know if I, I might have some sparklers. I guess I can entertain myself with sparklers, but <laughs> I think I might have to do a fire by the fire pit. But have a great day. Stay well. You're a peaceful warrior. Take care. And I will be coming back tonight, probably around 7-ish, so to give you a rundown of what's going on at the gym. Take care. Bye-bye.